so I have a problem, a flaw that I need your help with. Um, I'm way too connected to trying to help people get out from underneath tyranny and control. Uh, the industry, restoration disaster industry, just has an absolute issue with placing in their mind that the insurance is not in control of what they do and what they charge unless they are on their programs with TPAs. But uh, these Facebook groups and forums that I, I really, really, really should just, I really should just stop being involved in them, except that every once in a while, some of us can help other people. It doesn't help anybody if we all remain silent and give up. But I have a flaw that I feel like we need to be helping people, brand new people that come into this industry. If you've been in this business 20 years and you won't change your mind, you're not ever going to change your mind. You do a job for 35,000 and ward law says they're gonna offer 14, you need to be able to just say in Elon Musk voice, go fuck yourself. That's very nice, it's very convenient that you think it should be cheaper, but that is not correct. It's a cult. And the cult of the insurance has its grip on people. The fear of, of, of being non-compliant has people just not changing. I'm not being toxic here. People say, oh, like, this is how business is run. We're the only industry right now that, that, that drinks this Kool-Aid. And I'm watching people that could potentially be great servants of their customers and businesses uh, in the industry not growing because they're giving away any profit that they might have. At that point, if you don't have profit, you don't have a business. You cannot grow. You cannot improve the salaries of the people who work for you. You cannot scale. You cannot get any more benefits. You can't go do new training. You're going to end up funding this business out of your own pocket or paying yourself very little for the energy and the work that you're doing. And by the way, the reason I stand on all this because I know what the value of our service is. If you do a water damage dry out and it, it's let's say it's cat one and you can not do extensive demolition you can save the floors save their content save the cabinets i want you to get into your exactimate and figure out what you just saved them in reconstruction cost that's my trick when people start saying well you know you're expensive yeah but now you don't have to do twenty six thousand dollars worth of reconstruction you don't have to move out. You don't have to have your life turned upside down beyond the four to five days that I'm going to be drying here. That's your argument. So I am, I just have a flaw that I won't let this go. I should. But somehow there's something in me that says, don't just quit talking about it. Because maybe someone's hearing these things. And then what if, guess what? What if more people learn this way? And there are a lot. There's a lot of restorers that do not play insurance games but guess what they're not talking about it their job is not to help everybody else get there i've taken that on myself whether or not you are a customer or client of our academy which i wish you would be because there's a lot more that you could learn but it doesn't matter i'm still going to say this stuff because it's what needs to happen and it's selfish because it's going to help our industry grow and then my business is going to improve and increase because more people have money and they now have capacity to learn so if anybody wants to help me correct this flaw or help me share the message, insurance is not your customer. Your customer is your customer. If you're in some TPA situation, that might not be the stance you can take. But you should be trying to find work and get off the TPA. But those that are not, you have zero obligation to listen to ward law, to AccuServe, to Sedgwick, anybody. You don't have to. Your customer chose that insurance company. That insurance company chose to hire these other people. You weren't there when they made those choices. They didn't ask you for your consultation. So I say this not for you to pick fights with anyone, not to hurt your customer because it feels like you do. It's to grow your business so you can help more people. The service you provide is not tied up with what their insurance will or won't pay because the arguments that the insurance companies make they're not warranted. They're not per the standard. You all explain to them the standard every single day. They don't care. They are not going to just like, oh man, 
Now we get why we have decon. Now we understand why we have supervisors. Now we understand why, uh, you know, PPE is required because it's OSHA law. That's why no one can tell you not to do the things you have to do to do the job right. That's your design. So if anybody wants to help me or if you want to block me so you don't have to hear it, but maybe you just jump in with me and help be a broadcast to the industry of this. And maybe we start to all benefit from that collective improvement shift in mindset. Maybe. See you a while later. Bye.